Thank you very much. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Pastor. How is everybody today? Good. It seems like it's been a long time since we've been up here together, hasn't it? And it's only been a couple of weeks. In, so we had to get something really special in the purple bag for this morning. Who would like to look in the purple bag this morning and see what we have for us? Ariel? A lighter. Do you get to use one of these lighters very often? No. Do you ever get to use one of these lighters? No. What would we use one of these great lighters for? William. To light a candle. So we would push this trigger and pull this out and we get a flame. And it went away. So we could light a candle. Anything else we could do with our wonderful lighter this morning? Yes. Fire is something we need to be very careful with. Tegan. We could do fireworks, yes. AJ. Barbecue. We could do a barbecue. Caleb? Make a glass, glass sculpture. We could make a, yeah, we could melt things with it, yes, and make a great, beautiful glass sculpture. Tegan? We could start the fireplace, yes. So we have to remember that fire is something that we don't play around with. It's very important for us because to remember that it's powerful and it's because let's say while uh, Tegan is shooting off fireworks and AJ's having his wonderful barbecue <coughs> that one of the fireworks scares AJ and then he bumps the barbecue grill over which starts all of the other fireworks on fire and then the grass catches fire and then the house catches fire and then the neighbor's house catches fire. See, fire is something that's very powerful and strong. And even though we might call the fire department to come, they can't put out a fire that's so big and huge very easily. All we have to do is think of the forest fires that happen sometimes and how long it takes them to put one out. Now, you've heard this morning about what appeared to be tongues of flame on somebody's heads. Do you remember who had the tongues of flames that looked like the tongues of flames on their heads? Caleb? The apostles, the apostles did. And what did that fire show the apostles? Remember what that fire on their head showed that had been poured out on them? That they had received? William? Well, they had faith, yes. And faith comes to us by which person of the Godhead? Who brings us to faith, William? Holy the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit comes with more power than even fire has. And we remind ourselves of the strength and power that the Holy Spirit, who has brought us to faith, has given us faith, keeps that flame of faith burning within us. And he has such strength and power that when we tell other people about Jesus and talk to other people about what God has done, he can place that flame of faith within them. And it can keep spreading and keep spreading to hundreds and thousands of people across the earth. So today we remind ourselves why it's important for us to listen carefully when we talk about God's Word and what it means because that keeps our faith burning and it gives us the ability to share our faith with other people so that they can have that same flame of faith and the same confidence to know that Jesus is their Lord and Savior and that they've been saved from sin. Anybody have any other questions to that this morning? If not, you guys can go back to your moms and dads. Don't ever play with fire. And we'll join together in our Hymn of the Day, Hymn 184. 